Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this Mind Mastery video. One of the main characteristics of schizoid personality is seemingly lack of interest in social interactions or, or relationships in, in general. So such individual can be seen as somewhat cold or, or aloof, generally disinter disinterested or kind of unemotional when it comes to uh, social interactions or in particular social relationships, close relationships. So it's something I would like to explore in this video today uh, because I think it on the surface, yes, people at Kazaad might seem very cold, aloof and distant and generally uninterested. But the reasons for that, the causes of that um, are, I think, a little bit different to what most people might assume. So on, on this kind of more objective level, it seems like people with schizoid are completely disinterested. They, they don't really feel much when it comes to social interactions. And hence, they don't pursue relationships. Maybe some other people might assume that the cause of it is something like social anxiety or, or lack of social skills uh, or generally kind of you know, not knowing how to how to be socially, how to be in relationships. But it goes much, much deeper than this. So there's this concept in in psychoanalysis that I found, which is called non relatedness. So this this idea of non relatedness is something that describes um an experience that two people share, one of them will be schizoid, which is kind of marked by one individual not being able to relate to the other. So it's not just the response, let's say that the responsibility for this whole social awkwardness doesn't lie just on the side of the schizoid person, but also on the so-called maybe normal or, or neurotypical person, whatever you want to call such individual. So with this whole idea of non-relatedness, what happens is that the schizoid perceives the normal person as, as a kind of <laughs> someone that might be a little bit bizarre or intrusive or difficult to relate to. But so does the other individual in regards to the schizoid person. So, so as you can see here is the, the it's difficult to make that connection because it's somewhat as if two individuals were coming from maybe completely different realities, different, you know, different worldviews, different life experiences. So the way that schizoid is described in, in, you know, like on Wikipedia or, you know, in all this kind of mainstream psychological sources, psychiatric sources, is that all right that the, 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 there's this whole problem with this schizoid person, but everyone else is normal. So the social difficulties of someone with schizoid personality are solely they they fault and they they responsibility. Which I'm not saying that it's not true, but it's not just it, it, it describes only half of the equation. The whole picture is that both individuals, both sides are struggling to relate to each other so it, it, in a sense it's a kind of relativistic perspective because then who has the problem who is that the, the so-called disordered one in such situation is it someone with a schizoid personality or is it someone who is not schizoid um there's this quote that um i remembered recently it's from the book called alchemy by Mario Louise von Franz, and she mentioned that someone with schizoid personality, and she says that that the problem with the schizoid personality is not what such individual says or expresses or you know the way they talk to other person, but the problem lies in who they express it to, who they talk to, how they talk to. So if in other words, if, if you kind of choose the wrong person to express yourself to, 
uh, the wrong person to have a conversation with and then you start sharing your experiences, yes, you will probably get misunderstood. You're going to get somewhat hurt or, um, you know, maybe in, even in some situations, this, this thing can kind of backfire and, and turn against you because of the other person's inability to understand your situation or inability to to share your experience so you know I, I think when it comes to this this idea of people with schizoid personality they avoid relationships they they don't get pleasure from relationships i mean it's a kind of logical conclusion because if if it's so difficult to find someone you can relate to someone who can understand you of course you're going to give up eventually because then it's it's kind of pointless to even uh, approach other people or pursue relationships if you're just gonna get hurt or, or or you know completely misunderstood and the whole experience is gonna end up um, being completely bizarre, <laughs> let's say. So that idea of un- unrelatedness. Um, what can we do about it? As someone with a schizoid personality, again, it's kind of important to be mindful of who you're trying to connect with, who who you're trying to have maybe a relationship with. So I know it, it might seem like completely pointless. Like some people are so far out there uh, when it comes to, you know, closing themselves in and being, let's say, introverted and, and putting this facade where where that makes them feel safe that it might seem completely <laughs> pointless to even try pursuing any kind of relationships at this point but i think what what kind of makes a make a huge difference is finding the right people and you know being mindful of who are you opening up yourself to so of course you're not gonna want to invest your energy and just any kind of random person that comes to your life, but you want to be mindful of whether it's worth to pursue the relationship, whether you can be understood. And it might it might take a little bit of experimentation and you know maybe sharing just a little bit about yourself at first and then seeing if if it goes anywhere. So that's the, the kind of maybe practicalities of social relationships as a someone with schizoid personality but i understand that there is another problem that many people with this kind of personality can encounter which is simply lack of interest or lack of pleasure in connecting with other people i think part of the the the, this this whole pattern or this issue or the way that person experiences the relationships is exactly this that you know in the past throughout their past experiences they've been simply opening up to wrong people simply pursuing wrong kind of relationships with wrong kind of people that only reinforce the idea that you know there is nothing for them in the social world there's nothing for them in relationships in general so i think part of this problem can be solved like i was saying by by being mindful of what kind of people enter your life, what kind of people you are um, opening yourself up to. Another, the the other half, let's say, the other part of the the, the problem lies in in deeper deeper issues of 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 having a schizoid personality, which you know I talked about in the past in previous videos, and I'm going to talk about in later videos as well, but. You know things that relate to one's maybe, um, let's say, confidence or ability to experience various feelings and emotions. Okay. One last thing that I wanted to mention is that there is a quite interesting paper I found recently, and I'm I'm going to post the link in the description of of this video if you're interested uh, in it. Basically, a psychologist describes his experiences with working with someone with schizoid personality. And the interesting bit that, that he mentions in that paper, I think it's he, I remember, right? Um, is that part of, the, part of the social struggles might also relate to holding oneself back. So kind of not 
not expressing enough. So as you can see it here, that, that, that whole idea, that whole struggle with relationships can go either way, like either expressing yourself too much to the wrong kind of people who will misunderstand you or not expressing yourself enough and holding back, holding back, especially the frustrations, the anger, um, the being upset, being somewhat hurt maybe, and just putting, putting up with, putting up with what, whatever comes, whatever comes up in, in a relationship or a social interaction. So that's something to be mindful of as well. Uh, how much you're expressing, who you are, who you are expressing it to, um, and how much you are expressing really. So are you holding it back because you are uncomfortable uh, or you think it's inappropriate or you don't have a right to express it? Um, or if someone, you know, kind of steps over your boundaries, what do you do then? So all these sort of little things uh, is something that, that you need to reflect on and kind of answer the, these questions accordingly to, to what you believe and what feels right and authentic to yourself. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and it got you thinking on what sort of things you might improve when it comes to social life and hopefully you got some kind of confirmation that it's not <laughs> it's not entirely you it's not entirely you that is being at fault when it comes to social interactions and that this this issue of non-relatedness is experienced by by a lot of people and it doesn't have to be just about uh, you being somewhat broken or having something wrong with you when it comes to social interactions. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.